And just hours ago, Albuquerque police hosted a news conference on the recent homicides of these Muslim men, including the one from last night. Let's go live to Angel Sacido, who has the latest. Sasha, that news conference also comes after two other recent homicides of Muslim men, one just this past Monday. Now, Albuquerque police was joined by the Department of Justice and the U.S. Attorney's Office to talk about their search for suspects in all of these investigations. Now, APD is trying to create multiple command posts throughout the metro that will be open for the public to report anything that they see or feel is suspicious. Now, communication, that was the common theme between each speaker today. The president of the Islamic Center of New Mexico, Ahmad Assad, asked Albuquerque to band together with its Muslim community. He says many in that community are now living in fear. We've never gone through anything like this before. This is a, a really a, a surreal time for us. Um, uh, we're, we're in fear of the safety of our children, our families, it's not about just the Muslim community, but the entire community. We're all in it together. Uh, this is a very uh, uh, troubling time for all of us, but the message of hope still resonates. Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina is also asking every member of the Muslim community to watch out and account for each other. In his words, make it very obvious that someone is watching. He's also asking anyone who has information on any of these investigations to call 242 cops as soon as possible. I'm live at APD headquarters. Angel Salcedo, KOAT Action 7 News. Angel, thank you. APD has also increased their Crime Stoppers reward for tips in these cases to now $15,000.